YouTube. I'm Nick from Nick2018K, and this is Optically Stored Audio. Hey guys, for this week's project, I'm going to try and store that little snippet of sound you just heard transmitted by my oscilloscope and uh, picked up by this light to sound converter. And uh, I'm going to try and store it on regular film. The original technique for storing audio on optical tape was invented in 1922 by uh, Charles Hoxie, and it was called the Palo Photophone. It worked by shining a light onto a vibrating mirror. Uh, that light was then reflected onto uh, moving tape, and that would record the shape of the waveform of the sound that was modulating the light. When this was pulled past a photocell, the changing light and dark patterns on the film would uh, reproduce the sound uh, when the photocell was hooked to a speaker. Uh, I'm intending to do this using a, an old 35mm uh, stills camera where I'll wind all the film through as if it was finished but uh, I won't expose any of it. I'm then going to play back a sound uh, using the dot on my oscilloscope. The uh, dot will move up and down and as it's moving I'll start winding all that film backwards into the canister and if I do it at just the right speed, it'll store the movement of that dot as the film moves past. I'll be able to uh, put it in front of my own uh, photo sensor that turns light into sound, and hopefully I'll be able to hear the uh, sound that I've played into the dot on the oscilloscope. I've only got one shot at this, so I'm going to uh, lock the shutter open uh, press play, start winding, and hope everything works as expected. The shutter is now open. Hey YouTube, I'm Nick from Nick2082K, and this is Optically Stored Audio. And uh, that was it. It only takes about 15 minutes to develop color film by hand. After another hour or so of drying, these are the results. This is my playback device for my audio film. Uh, if you look closely here at the film, you can see the audio track in it. And that audio track passes in front of one of these two little slits and the light passing through the slit and through the film falls onto that little LED that I'm using as a photo detector. As I pull the film through uh, we should be able to hear my voice playing through these speakers. I'm going to set the camera up on the tripod and uh, we'll see if we can hear anything. Using the halogen light didn't work too well. Uh, I suspect there's a lot of electrical noise. Even though the filament has a lot of thermal mass, there's still a, quite a loud hum coming from the line. So I've switched to uh, an LED flashlight that runs on batteries, uh, which means it's going to have a lot steadier light output. And uh, I'm going to hook the amplifier board here right up to uh, the camera, so uh, maybe we'll get a little bit clearer audio from it. So the results are not too bad. I think the biggest problem is actually my playback setup. When you look at the film up close, there's a lot of detail in that trace, uh, just as much as if you were to look at the waveform on the computer. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope this inspires you to make some stuff on your own. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and check out my feed. Thanks for watching.